Hey guys, Jeff here with Ghost Net Gaming, and we are doing another review. So this time I'm going to review a game I just finished platinuming on PlayStation 4, and that is the Tower of, or Deadly Tower of Monsters. I never say this right. It's the Deadly Power, Tower of Monsters. It's an indie game done by, At uh, well, published by Atlas, uh, done by Ace, I think they're called. I'm going to have to check that, and I'll actually hopefully post that in the <laughs> down below. But this is an interesting game about a sci-fi movie. And you get to play through this adventure as Dirk, or Dick Star... Uh, I can't remember his name. Dick Starspeed, there we go. As Dick Starspeed, as he is crash-landing on, on an uh, alien planet and must find a way to escape. <laughs> Alright, so this is going to work a little different than my other reviews. I'm actually going to break this down and explain the different bits that I like and didn't enjoy about the game. And we're going to start with the first thing, gameplay. So, gameplays uh, could use a little work. Uh, the camera is kind of abusive at times. It's not necessarily where you want it to be. And there's a couple of uh, uh, platforming segments that aren't necessarily tricky, but the camera doesn't help you any. So, uh, yeah, uh, the rest of the gameplay is pretty straightforward. You can shoot lasers or whatever uh, ranged weapon you can get access to as you progress. You also have a melee weapon. You can dodge slash parry. And the enemies aren't particularly hard. So it's not too, too bad. It may give you a little bit of a run for your money. And if you're going for the platinum, you're going to have a little work to, uh, ahead of you just on finding that kind of stuff. So next thing, story. So the story is interesting. What I like about the story is that it's taking a shot at B-rated uh, sci-fi flicks, you know, old school stuff uh, or, you know, older stuff. Flash Gordon, Lost in Space, uh, you know, they came from outer space, that kind of stuff with weird creatures and, you know, really cheesy sci-fi dialogue. Now, it's also done from the perspective of the director of the movie uh, doing a DVD commentary uh, track for his movie. And this guy makes Uwe Boll look like a rock star. <laughs> Just saying, that tells you everything about this. Just listening to this guy talk, the guy that they got the, the voices guy is just hilarious. Uh, <laughs> thoroughly, uh, uh, thoroughly funny. Just listening to the track is just totally, that's, that almost sells the game in and of itself. It's just listening to this guy talk while you're, while you're playing through the game and him commenting on everything from you sitting idle for a while to the creatures that he, how he got the creatures to work and how he treated the actors in his film and the kind of actors he actually got in the film. So it was great fun with that. Uh, the other, um, so yeah, so gameplay, uh, 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 story. So other elements of the game. So the music is actually awesome. I love the music for it. It has such an old school sci-fi feel to the music that it really helps set the tone. And it sets the theme like perfectly spot on. All of the, uh, the music bits are totally, uh, totally right where they need to be to create that atmosphere. Now, some of the tracks can get a little annoying if you're stuck in an area for a while, but as long as you're kind of progressing through the game, and it's not an overly long game, uh, you can probably finish the whole game in the span of probably four or five hours. But the music is going to help get you through it, and especially if you grew up on old Star Trek, on a lot of the older Flash Gordon and stuff like that, the music is going to feel right at home. And you're going to feel right at home with the music and the theme, whether it's the weapons, the characters that you meet, and the style of uh, uh, that they went with the, uh, the movie format. So it's going to be great fun for that. So that being said, I do highly recommend the uh, Deadly Tower of Monsters, and you should really at least check it out. And if you're a bit of a sci-fi buff, you'll probably love some of the uh, kind of the elements that kind of pay homage to some of those classic sci-fi films that you may have enjoyed in the past. Hope you guys enjoyed checking this out. Definitely check out the game. Uh, check me out on Twitch. That's where I actually did uh, the entire stream of playing through the game. So if you want to see some of the games that are going to end up on these reviews, definitely head on over to my Twitch. The link is down below, and you guys can check that out. Come chat with me, and uh, have a good time, hopefully. Uh, subscribe to my channel to see more videos, more reviews like this. I've done other reviews for uh, anime and movies, and many more to come. And I will see you guys again next time. Have fun, guys. Don't forget your blaster, and keep gaming.